Hi everyone, Luna here, back with another Starfield video. Today I'm going over the game's 10 free ships that you can find, most of which are early in game. Some are tied behind quest lines, and a few are some of the best ships you can get, which will save you from spending your hard earned credits. Let's take a look at the first one. The Frontier is your initial ship, designed for beginners. It's a simple all round vessel meant to introduce you to the game's mechanics. However, it lacks the firepower and durability needed for serious combat encounters. The first free ship is the one you get right at the beginning of the game. Our next ship is called the Dagger, and this is found on a planet and you simply need to clear out a bunch of enemies. The planet is called Jaffa 4 and in the Jaffa system and the location is the Vulture's Roost. You can rush towards the end and clear out the enemies and a ship will land called the Dagger, which you can then simply take and register as your own. But instead of rushing, I recommend you come here with at least 10 lockpicks and spend your time looting, as there's at least 100,000 credits worth of contraband and other loot, so it's definitely a place that's worth looting. And after you kill everyone, you can reach the end of the Vulture's Roost and then get your unique ship. The Razor Leaf is a top tier combat ship that comes with no cost, as you get this from completing the Mantis questline that you can do very early in the game. All you need to do is find the secret slate, which you can get from the game's second mission, and then follow the Mantis questline to get the ship and a unique armor as the rewards. The ship has the added perk of being feared by enemies as well, so it's a good one to get. Often ships will flee from any confrontations. Shit! It's the Mantis! Mantis! Yeah, right. Scanning. The UC Prison Shuttle has a unique backstory and is acquired during the Crimson Fleet mission line, specifically a mission called Echoes of the Past. While it lacks strong defensive capabilities, its acquisition is tied to the game's narrative and serves as an interesting means of escape. But you can't get this until you start the Crimson Fleet faction missions. Wonderwell is a class A ship that you can obtain by choosing the Kid Stuff trait. The trait allows you to visit your in-game parents in exchange for a small portion of your earned credits. Over time, as part of the game's narrative, your parents will gift you different things, including the final reward, which is Wonderwell. While it's not the most powerful ship, it offers a decent balance of stats and is very fun, and I like the way it looks as well, so it's a good free ship if you're looking for one. Star Eagle is a well-rounded Class A ship and considered one of the best free ones. It's got a good mix of cargo capacity and combat capabilities, so it makes it good for resource gathering and just regular gameplay. You can obtain the Star Eagle as a reward for completing the entire Free Star Ranger questline, which is available in Aquila Say. The Datura is a unique ship you can find during the Ryajin faction mission called Top Secret. During the quest, you need to speak with Simon in Sidonia, and when doing so, you can choose an option to do a side quest for him. Make sure you don't choose Persuade or pay 10,000 credits. The side mission is to kill someone, and they are found in the Rings of Saturn. By persuading them, you can convince them to give you their unique weapon, called the Ember, but to get it, you need to board their ship. Well, after you get the weapon, you can then simply take and keep the ship, called the Datura. The Kepler R and Kepler S are two possible ships you can get, although you can only get one, the Kepler R being the best one. The Kepler R is a high performance ship with excellent fuel and cargo. It's known for its speed and formidable weaponry as well, so it makes it ideal for exploration and combat. But to get the Kepler R, you need to complete the overdesigned for Walter Stroud, which is available after the game's 11th main story mission called High Price to Pay. Basically, the quest involves designing a new ship, but there are multiple options and depending on the choices you make will depend on the ship that you get. So if you choose the option to pick a larger budget, then you will get the Kepler R. You need to positively reinforce the ideas of the designers when giving them feedback. You need to complete the bounty hunt and the escort mission in order to do enough research for the ship. And then when given the option at the end, you can use the option to make sure everyone compromises on the design. So there's loads of different options you need to choose in order to get the Kepler R. If you don't do any of these, you will get the Kepler S. 
which is essentially the same ship, but it's a downgraded version. Lastly then, guys, you can get the Starborn Guardian ship. This is a powerful combat focus ship. It's probably the best one in game. However, you don't get this till New Game Plus. And in fact, you can get six different versions of the ship if you keep completing New Game Pluses, but it's not one you can get early. However, it is free. Guys, that's it for this video. All 10 free ships you can get in Starfield and how to get them. Like and subscribe for more Starfield guides, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.